YouTube, what is going on? My name is Ritink Kevin, whatever you wanna call me. And this right here is a quick video that I'm gonna to do to show you my minimalistic home screen and how I can easily access all of my applications, all of my programs, and all of my files with having a really clean home screen that's not cluttered. Really simple to do and it does not require root access. <laughs> Right, let's get to it. So the first thing you'll notice is my home screen has a very minimalistic approach. Even though that, you, that word minimalistic is used a little too much. However, I don't have much stuff on my home screen. I have HD widgets right here, um, which you know displays my time, my weather. Um, I have Mal, Mal Uba, Mal Uba. I don't know how it's pronounced. I don't think anyone knows how it's pronounced correctly. But I have this right here, which is actually a Google, uh, Google Now replacement. And I think it actually does a lot of things better than Google. Um, we'll get to that in a little bit. If I go to my left right here, I have uh, uh, I have uh, shortcuts to different folders. Um, I have social. I can click on productivity, uh, launch productivity apps, um, news and magazines, so on and so forth. Um, that is Photo Organizer Pro that I'm using, and I'm using uh, some customized icons that I got off the uh, um, the, the Play Store as well. Come to the right, I have Conjure, which is my, my last uh, ran applications. It's kind of a quick launch for applications. So you come here and you can type in whatever you want. Let's type in, uh, I don't know, um, let's, let's type in something I don't have and haven't ran in a while. Pew Pew. So I can type in P E W and P E W. Pew Pew comes right up. So it's a really cool application that you can search whatever you want really quickly and it shows up here as your last uh, used application. And that's it for my home screen. I don't have much on my home screen. I kind of want it to just be clutter free just to show a nice background and show off the nice screen that this device has. Um, and that's really it. I, I launch a lot of my applications from here, especially my, my games. I go to Arcade in Action, you know, I'll go back to games and I can head to Puzzle and Brain. And You know, I mean, I have several, majority of my applications are in these folders. And if not, I can use Conjure to, to, to bring up the application or bring up the contact and, and modify it quickly. Um, I am running Android Open King. Um, which you obviously you have to be rooted to, to run that. Um, but everything I'm doing right now is not because I'm rooted. It's just, just because it's the way I have it set up. Um, I'm not running very much, um, you know, heavy applications on my home screen anymore. I, I know before I had a lot of things going on, but now I'm just having a real relaxed approach. You know, I don't like the busy home screen. I like just something real simple that I can just flip into and flip out when I'm, when I'm done using it. Let me show you Mail Uba. I'm not sure if you guys heard of it or not, but it, it's actually really cool. It does uh, does reminders. You can you can talk to it more naturally versus saying these static approaches that you have to with Google Google Now. So let's check this out. I want to see a movie tomorrow that has action in it. So, uh, yeah, it, it kind of goes to portrait automatically, which kind of just kind of sucks a little bit. Um, but right here, it's showing me all the movies down here that is actually action movies. So, I think that's a, I think that's pretty cool here. Um, let's see what else it can do. Um, remind me at nine o'clock to eat peanut butter sandwiches. And then a reminder comes up to eat peanut butter sandwiches and it actually goes off. And, and I've contacted su support and just to give them suggestions for, for different things with the application. And they actually are very responsive and they actually respond back very quickly and um, let me know they're going to put that in there. You can also type responses in here. You can do many other things. You can say, contact my girlfriend instead of the, your girlfriend's name. You can specify who everyone is in your contacts list. And it's really cool. You can say, text my brother this or email someone this. Now, check this one out. And this one kind of blew me by surprise. You can actually, um, you can dictate an email and it puts a subject in there. Like, like watch this. Email my girlfriend. We'll be going to the movies tomorrow. It's going to be really fun. So, if you see here, it actually puts in the subject, movies tomorrow. Let me try to focus this a little better, sorry puts in the subject movies tomorrow and it also puts in basically what I said right here so it's actually really really cool um, 
that it actually puts in a subject as you're typing. And I, I think that's fantastic, you know, um, especially when you're dictating emails and things like that. You kind of want it to, you know, fill in all the blanks for you. So I think that's really cool um, that it does that. And it's, it's a beta software and it's, and it's free still. So you really can't go wrong with something free, beta, and uh, that's really awesome as this. Um, so I'm not going to go into it too much. There's plenty of other videos out there on YouTube on, on how to go into it. However, I just wanted to go over my uh, my Nexus 7 home screen. I know it's not much anymore, but have a clutter-free setup. And it's a way to basically have everything at your fingertips without having everything on your home screen, if you will. Folder, Organizer Pro, Maluba, and HD Widgets um, for my home screen. All right, guys, that is it. My name is Kevin Rittink, whatever you want to call me. And subscribe, comment, plus one, all that other garbage that people do for social media. Do that. Um, I love making videos, and, and I like to bring you guys more videos. That is it. I'm signing out. And go Tigers. World Series champions 2012. Let's do it.